All right, so you want to decompile a map and then edit it and save it and send it to other people. So we're going to get started with that. First, you want to find your map. So we're going to go to Downloads, Find My Map. We're going to edit MGBW Keys Fixed because it does not have a spawn kill on there that I use for the server plan. So we're going to open it up. You got your BSP and your .nav. Now you're going to download BSP SRC underscore 1.3.8. Got to have 1.3.8, uh, or else it won't work. Uh, sometimes the older versions or the newer versions won't decompile properly. So you just want to open that up. Go to BSP SRC. Open that up. Click on Add. We're going to go and find our map. So it's in fixed BSP right there. Click on Open. Now we want to go to Other and click on Extract Embedded Files. We need the textures from this or else um, you won't be able to see them when you're editing it or when you pack it all together you won't have textures to pack together and other people won't be able to see any of the textures so very important click on decompile then then it'll rename it so you can rename it whatever you want now or whatever it'll rename it it'll add the underscore d to it we're gonna leave it alone we're gonna click on save it'll do its thing and then once it's done processing click on exit exit then we're just basically going to take that file right there, the .vmf, we're going to put it into our SDK content maps, click paste, place the file, then we're going to open up in Hammer, find that file, I mean you don't have to paste it over but it's just easier for me, and people keep texting me which is annoying, and we're going to open that up, and all I'm doing in this file, everything else works in CSGO, but I just want to uh, change the spawn killer. So we're going to find that entity. There's multiple ways to find it. Um, you can go around and find it yourself by visually looking around. It's usually the spawn killer is going to be around the spawns, or you can go to map, entity report, and find it this way. But I know pretty much where it's at, so should be that right there. And my hammer crashed. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> Technical difficulties here. Just open that back up. File open. No, I don't give a crap. Open that back up. F you hammer. Yay. All right. And it'll crash every now and then for randomly dumb reasons. So there we go. It doesn't automatically kill after a couple of minutes or whatever. So we're just gonna add add that. Um, since there's no logic gate or anything, um, we'll just have to edit it. So what you want to do is find a logic auto. That's what you need for this. If the map doesn't have one, you'll have to create one. Um, to create one, just go to entities right here, spawn an entity the end, change it to logic underscore auto. So I can do that right there. Um, if you don't want to add one in, you just want to edit the one that's there. Uh, you can click on it or you can just do the entity report and find it this way this is what I usually do and just click on properties and add it in here so that's what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add to this one so I don't have to add another entity to it just click on the add button then we're going to click on on map spawn so every time the map spawns it'll wait a period, uh, duration so then we're going to find our entity, they named it spawn kill so that's what a lot of people usually call it uh, but they can disguise it and whatever, they can just write it bunch of letters if they wanted to. You would have to find that and then input you just want to enable because they have it disabled on on uh, spawn. So and after delay in seconds we'll make that 60 seconds and then you just click enter and that's all set correct. So then we just want to click apply and then that's all I'm doing in this map. Um, but when you're compiling for like from CSS to CSGO, you want to also check for like tunnels. Any kind of tunnel, the, the player height is different from CSS to CSGO. You always want to account for that or else the player won't be able to fit in. And this, the models in CSGO are a little fatter as well. A little taller and fatter, um, crouch and standing. Uh, so you always want to take that into account. Um, definitely um, look for that when you're map, map, uh, testing your map. Um, always want to test your maps after you fix all your settings make sure everything's right uh, but once that's all done then just I mean once you edit everything you want to click run map you can change this to fast and fast in HDR 
um, if you want to make the compiling go faster. Um, but when you're all set and done, everything's ready to go, then just turn it back to normal. I don't want to run the game, but you can. And then you just want to click OK. Uh, the compiler could take from like, you know, anywhere from like a couple seconds to five hours. I've had a map take about five hours in one of them. It all depends on the, the amount of models and entities and brushes you have inside the map. Um, but I'm not going to wait for this to go because I already have it. So we're just going to click on X and then we're going to find that file. So once you tested it and everything, um, that basically converts it to a BSP. We're going to find it into CSGO maps and then we're going to find that file over here. Way too many maps. And it's this one right here, the D.BSP. So we're just going to copy that. And then we're going to bring it over here into right here and then we're just going to paste it there. And now we just need to pack it all together. So you you have the map, you have it all fixed. Now we have to pack the files, all the textures inside the map, because when you get it to somebody else, they won't be able to see those textures. It'll come up all pink textures, pink and black. So, and then we just gotta have packrat 095, and just open that up. Find your file, well, it's do, 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 downloads right there. And then you wanna click open. Um, you can do this many ways. You can click on auto and automatically find the files, blah, blah. That doesn't work half the time. It'll even freeze this thing and crash it. Same with scan. You can scan the folder with all your textures, which would be, I have it set right there. Um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive CSGO folder, but that freezes sometimes too, and people need to stop texting me. And But I do it this way where you just, this works pretty much all the time. Um, since you're just decompiling and editing and recompiling a map, um, they already have all the textures you need into the map. So when we extracted and embedded the files, uh, we basically download all those. So those are all right here in the, the downloads. So that's the folder. Get your maps, materials, and sound. So you just want to highlight all those and click open. Just click yes to all. And there you go. Added all the textures that we need in. You just want to click file, save BSP, save it to whatever you want. G, blah, blah, blah. Click yes, I want to overwrite, update the nav. And then I'm good to go. Find my file. I think I put it in here. And that's my BSP I want to copy and send to people. And that's pretty much the video. Um, you might have some other complications in here, like your texture's not working. You might have to edit some models from CSS to CSGO. Whenever you're converting from CSS to CSGO, you're always going to probably have some complications. Um, sometimes when you try to decompile a map, you might get uh, BSP protection. Um, not really much you can do with that because they had it so um, it's basically protected so no one else can override it. Um, there's probably ways to over to get by that, but it's a little more complicated. Um, I would just say skip them. But that's pretty much it. Um, so enjoy! <laughs>